people often ask me, how did I start doing this? Um, and I made my very first ketubah for a very close friend who asked me to make her a ketubah because she was marrying a guy who wasn't Jewish. And at the time, in the mid-90s, she could not find anyone who would make her one or one readily available that would function for an interfaith marriage. One of the other things that was really important when I started making ketubot was the idea that this was a piece of artwork and it could look like anything. I mean, technically that is, there, there are very few rules about a ketubah. I have a BA from Barnard in art history and comparative religion, which at the time didn't seem to make any sense. And now actually, that's kind of exactly what I do. There's um, a really long tradition of having the artwork reflect the community that uh, the couple is coming from. I do the calligraphy is an incredibly important element of my art. Most people do this with fonts and it's all graphic design. I do this all by hand um, and I, I take great pride in keeping that art part of the art form alive. The, the inspiration for uh, the paper ones that I make are quilts. I love textiles. I'm a weaver, I'm a knitter. One day when I have time I will be a quilter. In the meantime, I can do it with paper. So I take lots of different types of paper, lots of different... Um, it also gives me an opportunity to be able to go to the paper store and get 9,000 different kinds of fantastic, fabulous paper that you have no reason to buy. <laughs> and I get to have a drawer full of them. Um, but the idea of using them as fabrics um, and layering them and creating color blocks out of them, but stitching them together um, is very inspired by quilting. And I really enjoy being able to work um, in the tactile way with these. That's probably one of the reasons why I have no problem with interfaith doing, why I have no, why I really don't see any reason to exclude anything. Everybody wants the same thing in the end. It's just different ways of getting there. I feel unbelievably lucky that I have managed to find something that I seem to be good at, that makes people incredibly happy, and that I get to meet, I get to meet these couples at this unbelievable point in their lives. I was always interested in art. I got lucky with timing. It was, um, the, the idea of the ketubah was sort of gaining momentum again. People were starting to know what it was and wanting them at their weddings and seeing that it was an important thing. It makes me really happy to keep these things alive and be able to give them to other people. And uh, the extra bonus of that is what you get out of actually making things with your hands, which not very many people do anymore. <laughs>